question. What is what's a few of the uh, huge mistakes you see companies making? I've been asked what mistakes I've made, and then I see. Then I've also got the question: What mistakes do you see companies, other companies making, so that I can avoid them? And that is a that is a great question. That's the way to be thinking. Um, well, I'm, I'll answer that, but it's also another example of a mistake I've made. And I think one of the big mistakes often made is we hire people and we don't vet them out enough. We don't really do enough research to make sure they're the right person. Or we get in a desperate situation, we hire somebody because we're desperate, and then we end up with a bad employee. And employees are challenging to get rid of. It does cost money to uh, get rid of employees. It does cost money to make a bad hire. They can cost you thousands. They can cost you litigation. They can cost you all kinds of problems. So I think, number one, be very careful who you hire. Be slow to hire. I do believe that statement, slow to hire, fast to fire. I think there's a lot of truth in that. And that's a mistake I've made is trying to really work it out with employees, trying to help employees improve. I've hired somebody and I want to. I, I tend to be of the personality where I want to help people and I want to make them better and I want them to have a better life. And so I find myself trying to help them and help them and give them another chance and give them another chance. And I should be uh, harsher. Some people don't have the same problem. And then that's great. If you, I believe that you should be compassionate with your people to some degree, but you should also be very demanding of them. If they are not producing and they are not helping you achieve that net revenue number that you're after, which is the goal of a business, don't be confused about what the purpose of a business is. The purpose is to produce net profit. That's it. That's the purpose. So the purpose, if the employees you've hired are not contributing to net, if they're taking away from it, if they're slow, if they're causing you problems and you, you give them a chance and they can't fix it, you can't fix them, get rid of them as fast as you can. Don't try to fix them. Nine times out of 10, they're not fixable. Maybe 10% of the time they are. Don't try to find the one out of 10 people that you can help. Just move on fast. If you've made a bad hiring decision, move on quickly. Let them go, find a new hire. Uh, and that, that gets into the final thing that I see, and I've done it and almost made the mistake and been blessed several times to, uh, to uh, somehow I've been prevented from making the mistake, and that is hiring people out of desperation that I really had a gut feeling I shouldn't be hiring. It has happened so many times, and, and so many times I look back, and I'm so thankful that that person did not work out, that we did not hire them. We might have been pursuing them, and for whatever reason, we didn't get them. And I look back and I think, wow, we were trying to get that person because we were so desperate. And then what do you know, a week later, a couple days later, the right person came along. And had we hired the wrong individual, it would have cost us so much money. You know, hiring the wrong employee is more than just maybe their production is slow. They could literally cost you thousands by beating down the morale of the other employees, distracting you from the other things you need to be working on, damaging a client's property, which hurts your reputation, stealing something from a client that hurts your reputation. I mean, the list is endless of the problems a bad employee could cost you or cause you and, and hurt and cause uh, harm to your reputation. So again, go with your gut. If in the first 30 days you've got a bad feeling about somebody, you are probably right. Get rid of them in the first 30 days and just find somebody new. I really, really recommend it. I have tried so many times to make employees work out, and I shouldn't have invested in them. I shouldn't have done it. I, I do believe in a saying that an employee will be what he has been in the past. I'm not sure where I got that from, but if they've got a track record of jumping from company to company, if they've, if when you interview them, it's one excuse after another about what it was like at their previous employer's company. If when you interview them, they've got one complaint after another about the previous employers and why the employer was this or that or bad or whatever the case may be, let that scare you. It should. And, and um, go with your gut on that and stay away from those people. I, that's something I'd really encourage you to do to avoid a lot of mistakes is really trust your intuition on on hiring employees. If you get a bad vibe, a bad feeling, if there's something in your gut saying, I'm not sure about this one, listen, follow it because it's not worth the risk of hiring the wrong people. Hopefully that helps.